Hello, it is The Cousin, and I'm back to kick off another season of Beer Tasting. I get a kick out of brew. So, um, before we get started, I've had a haircut, probably look a lot more presentable, and I found my uh, Road Duckling t-shirt. It was actually stashed away in a carrier bag with a knight's costume I used to go butlins. Um, so yeah, but today has been a pretty mad day. Um, I didn't actually know I'd be doing this tonight. I went to meet my cousin and as you can see, we went to a bar. Uh, we only had two Guinnesses. Well, I did. He had a Guinness and a 0% Heineken because he's a pussy. Well, actually he had to drive. <laughs> but, um, before that we went to Tesco's where I got three beers, which I'm going to do one today, which is Monday, although it's gone past midnight, so technically it's Tuesday, so the same day this is getting released. Um, another one I'll do Tuesday, another one I'll do Wednesday, and then I might try and do one Wednesday, um, Thursday and Friday to get five beers in, as that is the layout, layout structure for each season. And then when I came back from meeting my cousin, I was so hungry. And I had these noodles. They were like from an they're imported from Asia. I can't tell you which country because I didn't really look at the packaging too much. All I know is it said two times spicy. I had two I poured the boiling hot water in there. It was like instant noodles in a bowl. Um put all the sauce in there. I thought fucking hell, that's a lot. Then the chili flakes as well. Two bites, my mouth was fucking burning. This shit just burned my fucking mouth out. I literally drank half a bottle of milk and then half of another bottle of milk so basically a full on milk because i'd literally drink the milk and then two seconds later the burning sensation would come back so i'd have to drink more until it just went completely now that's all out the way let's get on to the current beer which is timothy taylor's landlord so this is a beer um my cousin recommended and I don't know. I th I think yeah. I did do it with him on the, um, the old channel, uh, the RD Brewery Home Brewery Room thing. Oh, by the way, he's gonna be making new T-shirts soon. So yeah, that's uh gonna be an upgrade to this. But yeah, anyway, he recommended this one today with the other two beers I got, and like I said, we did it on the channel before, and he says it's a really good beer. So. Oh no, I do remember this. I don't remember what it tastes like, but now it says Landlord. For some reason, I thought Timothy Taylor's and Landlord were just two separate beers, but it's the same one. So it's made by Championship Beers, 1858, it says there. And it's got Timothy Taylor's Landlord. Now, I don't know what this is telling me. Is Timothy Taylor the Landlord? Or is it Timothy Taylor's Landlord? Um... But it does say it's the classic pale ale, four point one percent. So it's not too, not too strong. And on the back it says, the drinker's favourite and the classic pale ale with a complex citrus and hoppy aroma. Landlord was launched in nineteen fifty two and has won more awards nationally than any other beer, including Camera Draw Supreme Champion Beer of Britain four times. Taylor's taste is achieved by using the finest natural ingredients. A unique no spring water, the highest grated golden promise malted barley, whole leaf hops, and our own Taylor's taste yeast. All for that taste of Taylor's. So um the drink is itself, I guess, is called Landlord by a part of a group called Taylor's. Or well, I don't know if that's because it, it says the beer brewery here is Championship Beers, unless that's the name of the um what do you call it? The thing that is one. No, but then that says 1858 and this wasn't created till that is so fucking confusing. I can't tell if the Brewers Championship beers or Timothy Taylor's. Um, we're just going to go with Championship beers of the Brewer and Timothy Taylor's landlord is actual name of it. And I don't know, I'm guessing this is Timothy Taylor or Timothy Taylor's landlord. But he's pouring a beer. Anyway, it does, it does hype itself up quite a lot. Um, so let's hope it is as good as it 
as it says. I honestly don't see it being as high as a four though. I don't know why I'm just getting that feeling. But before we go on to the taste, let's just look at the design. Um, the design is a pretty basic, but not too basic. It's quite a nice balance. It's got this like nice gold green and then I don't know what you'd call this color like pale yellow beige yeah beige white I don't know creamy color yeah creamy color um with Timothy Taylor I'm guessing pouring his pint it doesn't really it's not something that stands out to me as much compared to some other beers I've seen and had like I'm just thinking off the top of my head ones like um Dark Star um the trooper one we did and just some of the others like those are the ones that you look at and you think wow whereas this one's just kind of meh but as a beer i i do quite like it so it's not a bad design uh the bottle cap is dark green with that um sort of i'm gonna say corn color just because of what's on there and that's the same thing that's on the next seal here so i'm going to give its design a Four. That's that's a four on design. Yeah, that's a, a good four. Not a high four. Not really a low four. I'd just say that is a four. So bottle opener is a different one because I can't find my house keys, which is worrying. But let's get this open and oh fuck, don't tell me I'm gonna butcher this. Oh my god. Okay, so that's new. <laughs> um, I just sliced part of the bottle off and I'm not going to lie, you'd think this being glass would be all black jaggedy. Let me just show you that. Look how smooth that is. Um, <laughs> what the hell that, that this, why is that so smooth? Literally, this thing just sliced right through. Well, the bottle, cap, bottle cap's in good condition. I've never ever seen this. Just, you, look how smooth that is. I don't know if you can see properly. Like, it doesn't even look like it's been cracked off. It looks like it was meant to come off. That is so weird. I need to be careful what side I drink out of this now. I mean, it's not got any sharp edges. I can't really cut my lip on this but does that smell like marmite hmm. tastes like marmite <laughs> no it's got a bit of a taste to it it doesn't taste that cold i've had it in the fridge for a bit but Yeah, I'm not going to lie, that's a very bitter and average taste. I'm not sure if I like that. It's like okay-ish. Maybe, no, it's pretty cold. It has been in the fridge for a bit. But I think I might have to get that free. That's not the nicest taste in beer. It's all right, but it's not really nice. And I think all right is kind of pushing it. I'm going to give that this taste a low score in three. Yeah, that's that's not doing it for me. Um, I'm just amazed. <laughs> I'm just amazed at this. Like that is so smooth. I can't even. I know this is kind of distracting from the video a bit, but it looks like a manta ray <laughs> for a boomerang. Like you wouldn't even think that's glass. How well does that fit back on? Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think it's designs good for a beer but its taste is just not doing it for me let me try again
I feel like if it was colder, I would like it. Maybe I just haven't had it in the fridge for enough time. So I'm just going to play it safe and give it overall rating a 3.5. Um, yeah. <laughs> well, not exactly the best beer to kick off the season with, but hey-ho. At least you just saw me get like slice a whole segment of the rim of the bottle off so that's that's something new um but yeah this has been um the cousin with uh timothy timothy taylor's landlord i hope you've enjoyed watching this video please like subscribe share and all that other crap and i'll see you in the next one Huzzah! And that's the end of our story, so uh, goodbye.